All right, a version of Jim Trulika's JTOB, the saw blade. What I did was I took two strands of the Silver Pro Wrap Premium Metallic, and I did two strands because I wanted, I wanted it to be a little bit more bold. Now I'm gonna tack it down, pull, pull the thread up underneath the, uh, the blue thread, and I'm gonna tape the ends just to get them out of my way because they tend to annoy me. And then I'm gonna put the other side that I'm actually working with to my, I think it's to my right, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna get a wrap or two just to hold this down with the blue. And since both of these are the, um, both of these strands are the same color, I don't have to do anything special. I was just trying to basically make the thread fatter. All right, I'm gonna go around twice just to make like a border for the saw blade. Okay, I lied, I only did it once. And got away from me there a little bit. Pulled it underneath the blue thread so it'll hold it. And I'm always packing. Just to try to keep ahead of any problems is one of the reasons I do it. Packing and smoothing all the, you know, taking my time. Now I'm going to go around a couple times or so until I'm happy with the, the width of the, um, space it's going to be between my border thread and the actual beginning of the saw blade smoothing and keeping things straight as i go it's easier to do it while you go rather than to try to come back and fix it I'm going to pick up my thread. It's kind of wrapped around a little bit, but it's easier to unwrap it if you take part of it out of your way. Now I'm going to take it and I'm going to go from right over the thread to the left and just continue to wrap it just like this all the way around. And another thing, you know, while I'm doing this, I have the band on my rod wrapper wrapped around the uh, rod um, wrapping pulley to try to keep it to where it's just easier to where the, the blank isn't moving back and forth on you or moving all around. It kind of keeps it, it's kind of your third hand. Okay, I'm not going to put any blue between where I wrapped it around the blue thread. I'm just going to go straight and put a wrap, maybe two, depend, you know, it's up to you how you want to do it. I'm going to go around the blue thread. 
get the silver out of my way. Take my blue thread and I'm going to go over the silver after I straighten this up. And I'm going to do the center of the blade with the blue. And as I'm going around, I'm straightening, smoothing it out, trying to make it look nice. Like I said, as you go. Got to keep the tension good on this um, blue thread. Now, I'm just going to work backwards. Just do the other side of the saw blade. Do a wrap, maybe two, until I'm happy with the width. Then I'm going to go straight to wrapping around the blue with the silver. But first what I have to do is I have to get that blue thread across so I have across my silver so I'll have something to wrap onto. Again, just take your time. Try not to get ahead of yourself because I kind of did a little bit. And I didn't end up going in the right direction I should have been. Because what you want to do is basically on a saw blade, you want to keep going the same direction to make get that blade effect. And here what I did was I started going the wrong way and I said, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. I got to go back. So I had to come back under... and then head in the right direction, which is basically going from my right over the thread to the left. If you take your time and don't get stressed out, it won't get away from you too far. over from the right over the blue thread to the left and wrap it all the way around straightening as you go now you're going to get your other side giving it that blade effect
This makes some really, really awesome borders. And the more you play with this, the more ideas you can come up with. So I'm going to take that out of my way. Pack it in nice and tight. Smooth it. Take my blue thread and go over my silver. And get that gap between the silver and the another band of um, silver that I use for the um, border. Straighten it as you go. Couple wraps of blue until I'm happy with it. Want to make it as close to the other side as absolutely possible. Take my silver. Go around for my border. Around the blue thread to tack it down or hold it down. Tape it off out of my way. Take my blue thread and go over my silver to hold it down. Smooth it out. Do a few wraps of the blue. Pull it through underneath with my pull string. And clip those ends off of the silver to get them out of the way and there it is you're done another thing you can do on the either side of a, a graphic what I did on this particular rod is I just did half of a saw blade has my have, having my graphic in the middle so half on one end half on the other end Hope you enjoyed the rest of the video with some pics of the uh, rod that I used, that I built and used this particular um, technique on. Y'all have a great one. Tight lines. And y'all don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy the rest of the video.